Hey everybody, we're here for round one. Let me just dock the chat window. There we go. We are going to, I guess, keep this hand. It's not the best. We've got a turn one play that does nothing other than block, but we can read the bones on turn three if we absolutely have to. I guess we'll keep it. Seen better, seen worse. Turn one jailer. Okay, okay. Consecrated by blood. Not quite what I wanted. But that would be nice on a Vastwood Gorger. No attacks, no plays. Cool. Top deck of land. Less than cool. Just as long as I don't read the bones into two lands, I'll be happy. Three drops. Scrap, skin, drake. Okay, so... I'd like to have a blocker or something. Read the bones, it is. Read the bones, it is. What do we see? We see a rock smallers, which absolutely can come down. So that's going to be on top. And a shambling, bo shambling ghoul, which uh, also would be decent enough. So I think we'll put that on top as well. We'll draw them both. And then pass the turn. <clears throat> Next turn, I think we'll see shambling ghoul come down. Perhaps? Maybe? I think throwing Consecrated by Blood on the Mauler seems good. Ooh. Passes the turn with four mana up. That feels like a Bone to Ash. So he can Bone to Ash my Shambling Ghoul if he wants to. Nope. Felt like he had F6'd. And passes the turn. Hmm. I wonder if he actually didn't have a play, if he was holding up a Bone to Ash, if he was holding up a uh, Harbinger of the Tides. Plays a bonded construct. He's going to pass the turn again with four mana up. Okay, so I feel like I'm resoundedly facing a, uh, a bone to ash. Maybe he'll tap something. Nope, no tap. Well, I'll get in for four. going to trade constructs. Yeah, sure. Sure thing. Um, hmm. I mean, I guess I'm okay with the Maulers getting Bone to Ash, right? Yeah, let's do that. Bone to Ash me. There we go. I knew he had it. <laughs> there was no chance he didn't have that. So now he'll start playing stuff. But we've got a Cothafed if we draw a land, a Bastard Gorge if we draw a land, a Hangerback Walker. We've got some stuff. I will take two. Aven Battle Priest, you got it. Gain yourself three life. Come on, land. Land? Not a land. We get a Leaf Gilder. That could help us. So perhaps we go Leaf Gilder and Hangerback Walker for one. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to take five in the air. But next turn we can Cothaped and that'll just stop him dead. Rune Servitor, you got it. In for five, you got it. Rogue's Passage. Yeah, let's count the fed it up. I guess you can tap down Cause Fed, can he? Yeah, you can. It's not the best news. Taps down Cause Fed. You got it. So maybe next turn we give flying to something as well with Consecrated by Blood. Otherwise, he's going to get there with a Growing Jailer. Oh, he's just going to get there with Kithian's Tactics. Yep, we got beat down by Flyers. So, good thing I got double Aerial Volley, right? 
Aerial volley in. Um, I mean, we only saw two flyers, but he's blue-white. I should assume there's more, I think. So I think I'm happy with double aerial volley in favor of a touch of moon glove and one of the Rita bones, I think. Yep, seems good. Um, we had a bit of a slow start. Um, that bone dash was actually pretty good. Uh, we'll play first. Two lands, one colorless, and we really want green. Damn it. Fetid Imp will hold off quite a bit. Fetid Imp will hold off quite a bit. Ugh. Don't think we can keep that, unfortunately. So we have to maul. Uh, Evolving Wilds, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. We can get our green, turn to Leaf Gilder, and uh, start going. Let's see what our opponent does. There we go. Our opponent took a little bit. Uh, we are going to keep these six, not go to five. It's Evolving Wilds right into a forest. Right into a forest. Unless our opponent is double queuing. So I guess we will instead pause and wait for our opponent to allow us to get a forest. Oh, there we go. Just in time. Forest and go ahead. Play your land. All right. We're going to have to be doing a whole bunch of pausing here. All right, you got there just in time yet again. Bonded Construct, you got it. Push F6, please. Leaf Gilder. Back to you. Crow and Jailer, sure thing. I will... I blight. What will I eye blight? Or do I just make another leaf gilder to have four mana? Just in case we continue to get land screwed. Yeah, let's make a second gilder. And next turn we can eye blight assassin. Uh, huh, maybe the construct, maybe the jailer. Maybe the jailer is the best target. Two mana. What's it gonna be? Three mana. Three mana. Anchor to the Aether. Ugh. He gets to scry. We have to waste a turn drawing another Leaf Gilder. He puts a card on top. That's unfortunate. We don't want him drawing what he wants to draw, so... Time walk! You got it! We are hurting for mana. Rune Servitor. Cleric of the Forward Order. You got it. Wow, do I want an Eye Blight Massacre. It's a shame we didn't have one of those. There's a swamp, at least. Um, yeah, let's eye blight the Jailer. And then I can put down a Mauler, and it blocks everything he's got. I would gladly trade for the Rune Servitor. He gets to draw a card, but 
I also get to draw a card. And I'm fine with that. Get a land, that'll help things a little bit. Jace. Alrighty then. You can flash back anchor. Seems like that would be good. Um yeah. It's rock smaller, is it? leave up a black to pretend we have touch of moon glove and let me mute it while this annoying truck goes away that's better i, I assume you guys could hear the uh <laughs> the loud beeping truck out there rocks maulers that'll hold some stuff off we could even eve his force mage to uh pretty much guarantee we get through for trample Five mana. Gold Forged Sentinel. Alright. Don't see that card all that often. So what can we do? If we make Rock Smaller a 6-6, six, six, he can still double block and just straight up kill it. So perhaps we read the bones and see what we can see. Aerial Volley. Won't quite get the sentinel he's only got a single card that's got to go on the bottom i think i'll take another fetid imp though i can play two of them draw a swamp as well so yeah let's go fetid imp and let's actually just leave up the black mana for now so that he can't attack with that sentinel he didn't loot that's weird he loots main phase all right Throws away an island. Stop playing big stuff. Totem Guide Heart Beast. Claustrophobia or Suspension Bonds? Which is it going to be? Which is it going to be? Suppression bonds. I called it suspension bonds, didn't I? Huh. No attacks. Sounds good. Rogue's Passage A. Well, let's get some big rock smallers. In Rogue's Passage at one, two, three, four. In for four. Get myself a six six trample. And let's see if we can just Rogue's Passage for the win. Although he can flash back Anchor to the Aether, which will buy him some time. I assume he's going to flash back Anchor to the Aether. Ah, no, he's going to make it so that the Imp is ineffectual. What's going to happen now? I don't feel like we're in a great spot. Don't feel like we're in a great spot. Although we can just kill Jace, right? Assuming he has no tricks, we can just kill Jace with the Maulers. Oh, of course, unless he suppression bonds them. Which I knew he had. Yup, makes sense. Makes sense. So, our backs are against the wall against mediocre cards. Well, Fetid Imp number two, I guess. <laughs> you can't stop both of them. Um, and then what? And then what? I guess we just passed the turn. He's going to get Jason alt territory, though. Nine. It's going to be at seven this turn. Uh, 
So we need Cothafed. Or Vastwood Gorger. Vastwood Gorger and Rogue's Passage is also nice. Well, we can Rogue's Passage and hit Jace for four with the Eva's Force Mage on the Leaf Gilder. That'll buy us some time at least. Ugh, stop it! Stop it! Why couldn't I get Suppression Bonds? Or Claustrophobias? Or anything? Yeah, he's gonna attack for a bunch. I'm going to leave Jace pretty open, though. Um, well. Block and kill that. Block that. Take eight. Go to eight. Sounds like the plan. Sounds like the plan. He's out of cards, so I guess that's okay, right? We're going to take four in the air. Titanic growth won't get me there. Yeah, we're just dead. I should have sideboarded into the Will Rule Breaker deck. Would have been more fun. Knock Jace down. We're going to take six. Go to two. Wah, wah. So I guess instead of doing that, I could have kept him up for the Titanic growth, Titanic growth, whatever he didn't minus to kill the beast. Still taken six and still have been dead to the Sentinel next turn. Yeah, flyers are just going to beat my deck down if they have any way to take those out. Flesh bag, he sacks. Doesn't matter. We die in the air. Well, that sucked. That really sucked. Um, I think our deck's okay, but his deck was good uh, as far as removal went. The Goldforge Sentinel is a weird choice, but when you've got two suppression bonds and a Jace and whatnot, you don't really need good cards. You just need cards that are going to get through. Um, yeah, so that's a really sucky round one loss. I swear I like sealed more than I like draft, um, but we'll see how the rest of the tournament goes, um, and I'll see you guys for round two.